there's a lot going on at Havara, so hopefully you followed the process of our working with Tabitha and Adam St. Bernard Jacobs, the consultant team who've been supporting us in this initial phase of internal anti-racism work within Havara. Between April and September, Tabitha and Adam heard stories and experiences from over 100 Havara members. We now all have the opportunity to hear from them this Sunday, November 6th, as they share what they've learned and offer some framing for moving forward. They've prepared a written report as well, which is attached to this email. I encourage you to read it as much as you can, if nothing else, the section on BIPOC members' perspectives. Either way, please join us this Sunday, November 6th, from 10 a.m. to noon over Zoom. The details for that meeting are in this email as well. We just encountered once again in the Torah, the verse where we're told that the human is created B'Tselem Elohim in the divine image. What does that mean? to live with this as our core orienting principle, to build community in which everyone is honored and can enter in the fullness of who they are and genuinely belong. That's a lifelong journey. It's a beautiful journey, one that Havara will be engaged with for the entirety of our life cycle. Obviously it extends beyond race, but we can't move toward fuller belonging without engaging wholeheartedly in building an anti-racist community. So let's all of us recognize our place in this work, however we identify, however we are impacted by it. It is for all of us, ourselves, our loved ones, people we care about, our children and the next generations, our collective well-being and humanity, and for Havara, continuing to realize our potential as a community. So I urge you, if you are at all able to please join us this Sunday at 10 a.m. Look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.